how you can build a property portfolio not using any of your own money. Now, so many people are asking me like, oh, Mark, how do I get into property? I can see what you're doing. You've helped so many people. Help me, help me, help me. And they say like, when I've got money, I'll come back. When I do, listen, I built the first six million pound of my portfolio using zero of my own money. And this is how. I want to give you two examples. One example, I did something called a joint venture partnership. Now, let me explain as I go through how this works. We buy the house for 250 thousand pounds we go ahead and spend forty thousand pounds on it to do the renovation make it bigger make it better what we then do is in this scenario we actually sold this this was the flip strategy so we bought it renovated it and then we sell it on and we sold this for three hundred and thirty thousand pounds so give or take we made forty thousand pounds now using zero of my own money what i then did was also bought someone in as a joint venture partner and we just split this and took £20,000 each. How freaking cool is that? So that's one example. But here's another example because you not, might not always want to sell, but how do you still do deals? Yeah. So again, we can go ahead and buy a house for £100,000. How do I do it with zero of my own money? Well, first of all, I'm going to borrow 75% of from the bank, which is £75,000. What I'm then going to do is this from the bank and then a private investor is going to invest the rest which is £25,000 for the equity because the bank wants to not give you 100% of the money they want to know that there's kind of equity available if something was to go wrong and then I'm going to need in this example we needed £39,000 to do a renovation which actually allowed us to extend and make it bigger not looking exactly like this but all going into the loft and going into the outhouses and then making it all hunky-dory and good this actually made the property worth £200,000. So what I can now do is I can either sell it. Think about it. How much money am I in now? I'm £100,000 for the purchase and I'm now £39,000. Split between the banks lending it to me and uh, this is also lending it to me. So this money is at 6% and this money is at 10%. So now I can pay return for the bank because that's what they want and then a private investor, I pay that money. This all adds up to £11,000 of interest. And this is the one that people leave out when they're showing you numbers of the cost of borrowing. So if I go and sell it, I'm now going to have £200,000, which means I can pay back my £150,000 or I can go and refinance it now at this new level and at 75%, they will give me £150,000. So I can pay back the bank plus the interest, pay back the investor plus the interest. And now I'm left with the house owning it where I use zero of my own money which now the tenant that will rent it off me will pay down the new mortgage of the £150,000 while I make some profit as well.